Hello everyone, I'm The Soloist, and welcome back to a new series here on the channel, Monster Hunter World. I... I've never played Monster Hunter before. I'm very excited to try this out. Uh, again, like the past four games have been, this is a recommendation from my girlfriend. I'm also uh, sorry, I have to test out some new audio stuff right now. It's not new equipment, it's just a new setup. Uh, all, if The videos are going to be a little weird and you're going to notice it, but I am back on campus, you know, back at college, so I'm further away from my mic, and that's okay. What is this? What is all this? There's eight pages of this? I, I don't want to read it. Uh, let me just check the options. So subtitles are on. It's said English, that's what I speak in. Obviously. Uh, let's just get into it. Sorry, if you heard all those noises, it was me forgetting to plug in my laptop. And I did not want it to die while I was recording. But yeah, after a nice short break from doing a big, long game, this is the one we've come out to. I don't know how long Monster Hunter World is. I didn't do my usual Google that I do with it. I kind of just jumped right into it. Sisters and brothers of the Fifth Fleet, it's time. I'll keep my farewell brief. Never was much with words. Once you board this ship, there's no turning back. The next ground your feet will touch will be that of the New World. If any of you have lost your nerve, then step away now, and let no one judge you. Very well. Then sail safe and strong, and may the Sapphire Star light your way. I hope that I don't need, like, knowledge from previous Monster Hunter games to understand this game. I kind of assume they're all their own self-contained thing. New World by the Horns? I don't know about you, but it feels like ages since I left home to join the commission. So, nervous? Believe you me, I get it. Anything could happen to us, but hey, that's yep. happened. Uh. Hey, aren't you one of the A-list hunters? What? No way! So are we! Hey, tell us your name. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. How do I... Sorry, I was just kind of reading things and my brain blanked out. You have presets? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, some of these jawlines. I won't lie, number 16, I think that's kind of mine, so I'll probably come back to that. Hunter. Am I responding to a message? Yes. All right, hairstyle. Let's see if I can get one that is accurate to me. The answer is no. So, I'm just gonna go with the one I think is either the funniest or the coolest. I think I saw that, uh, David Dustmalchian in Suicide Squad in here? No, that's Leon Kennedy. kind of vibing with this one, I won't lie to you. I think we're gonna go with that. I'm just gonna do my best to not accidentally make my character look like Titus from uh, Final Fantasy X. This is a fun, a fun little moment, because I could go boring with my hair color, right? But why do I want to be boring? Dude, why is the saturation and brightness so da- Yes! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Actually like that, right there. I could dye my hair. The whole first half of this episode is just gonna be me building this character. Ah! <laughs> uh, I need some reasonably thick eyebrows. But but you don't need to look angry about it. Oh, there's oh, okay. So this, there's eyebrows and then eyebrow types. Well, what a brow type. Oh, no. None of this thin madness. Not the evil ones. <laughs> I was like, that looks angry. Hmm. Kind of like that. Oh, I guess I should get them to match the, uh, You're about to watch me struggle. Oh, 
I will get them to match. Okay, nope, we will just leave them as black. That, that did not look good. Just always sleepy. get to have some fun with character customizations. It's always a nice. I should just do it always sleepy in honor of my girlfriend. I'm I'm joking. She might not ever watch this video, so no one ever tell her what I said. That's a that's a whole level of thing I will not be able to to do. Short. I can't. Okay. Short, average, long. I'll leave them at average. Oh. <laughs> oh, this outfit looks extra goofy. change the, the color individually of each eye? Why do I kind of want to do that? And then I'm just gonna go madcap on my left eye. <laughs> An absolute madman I am. Actually kind of vibing with this. All right, cool. I'm vibed. I was gonna go for a red, but then I landed on this. Oh, the nose. At this rate, I might just leave it with number two. Or maybe 18, we'll see. Actually, I think 15 is... Did I just feel my own nose to double check? I sure did. Ah, there it is. There's the curve I was looking for. You probably can't tell what I'm talking about, but I see it. I hope everyone out there is having a wonderful day, by the way. I hope you guys are just sort of enjoying... Uh, oh my god. <laughs> This is the one that's been on the face the whole time. Some of them are set in like a natural frown and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's all of this kind of vibing. I might change it though. I can't tell if I like 12 better than 2 though, because I don't think I do. Oh, 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 do tell? Facial hair? <laughs> I 
mean, that's kind of what my face looks like, but it needs it would need to be thicker. <laughs> I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Although I could just be ridiculous and put mutton chops on my face. Alright, let's see how this goes. I know I could just go look at the hair one I did and just match the numbers, but that where's the fun in that? I don't think it's exactly correct, but I'm kind of vibing with this monstrosity I'm creating. What's the difference between these expressions? I'm not seeing any change. Oh, I have to hit triangle to preview it? I see. <laughs> I don't know. This one is just a, a whole different level of ridiculous. I enjoy that th these are the only differences, it's just color. And, and it's just two different outfits, varied in color. colors. I'm gonna go with yellow, only because I enjoy how much it kind of makes me look like I'm a, a Tekken character. I'm creating something absolutely foolish. Sorry, it's gonna take me a while before I can hear all the voices because of everything coming back to me through the recording. stick to this first page of them for the sake of you guys. I'm gonna go with type 3. Default armor? What? time putting color onto this if I just wasn't going to get armor. I mean, if I was going to get armor over it. Come on, dude. If I put leather on, I'd want to change the color. What if I just go in with no armor? No, I don't I don't want to die so quickly. I just really hate the look of this. Even though I know I should put it on. Come 
fine. All of that just to cover up that good, good yellow. Because of course, yes it is. What is this? Palicos are, are felines that have created a pact with hunters to support them in battle. During quests, they'll assist you in many ways, like attacking monsters or gathering materials. Each hunter has their own individual palico. If I make it extra long, how does that... Did it all just get blurry? Is that just me? I didn't, I didn't see it. Is that it long? Oh, oh god. <laughs> Give them their fur wreck. I'll give them a more regular color in comparison to what I have. Or maybe I won't, now that I see this nice orange. I can change their pattern. Oh, how do I zoom out again? So it's like, like stripies. I'm actually kind of fine with the pattern I've got. Just an angry, always cat. No, I'm not joking. I won't. I won't do that to the cat. <laughs> isn't just black. One of these muted pinks does. At least to me. Someone's gonna be like, no it doesn't. with that saturation overload like I did for mine, though. Oh, dude, I ain't gonna mess up. Oh, look at him! Oh, he's so cute! Oh, god, they need a name? Oh, no. Um... It did really almost take us 30 minutes to create those characters. So, how about a toast? Oh, I look stupid. <laughs> to the A-list! And the commission! 
<laughs> so, tell me, what's your theory? The Elder Dragons must migrate to the New World for some reason. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Elder Dragons? I'm sorry, is this Skyrim again? After running the research commission for 40 odd years, the guild's itching for an answer. They say the Fifth Fleet's got the best shot at crack in this case, and I agree! Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, A-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? Partner? Am I supposed to get a partner? Listen to that. <sighs> Getting rough out there. The waves are picking up. That's gotta mean landfall. <laughs> You're on the A-list, right? Huh. Meow do. Oh. Okay. Paddle, <laughs> I love you so but much. But I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A-lister myself. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it would have almost been funnier if they gave me this armor and then just broke it right then and there. Oh no, I'm I'm playing now. Okay. Can I run? Hello? Anybody there? Okay. Let's. I wasn't expecting to just grip it. Oh, hey, it's you! Look what happened to the ship! We have to do something! It's not safe here! This way! The handler? Why the handler? I'm intrigued. My character just a beast like that.
Oh, I thought he was going to miss. I was like, oh, that'd be a little messed up, but okay. Oh, oh, that thing was a creature. Okay. lost her to the trees. Even some of the trees are on her side. Sorry. I should not make that Narnia reference. Oh, what? She fell so much sooner than I did. How did she land like next to me? in the tent. It has a map in it. Well, part of one at least. How did someone get on the island and set up camp so quickly? Looks like we're right around here. The research commission's okay. base of operations is here. This is where our ship was supposed to be. So you guys are on the entire opposite now, end of this space. For now, I think it space. would be best if we make our way to base. The map should help us find our way. Oh, we're kind of chugging through this map. I didn't think it would move so quickly. Are those dinosaurs? The ancient forest. Okay. Is that a ship up there? Look, the research commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. Are you gonna come along? I'm intrigued for when they tell me how According to like to the fight map, things. To get to HQ, we need to. Hmm. These Aptonoths seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. Aptonoths? Now I know their name. Okay, so Looks I climb like we need to go automatically. Around. Go around? What? I thought we could have just climbed that tree branch, hmm. eh? Something's up. The scout flies are gathering. Vitality? What does that what does that do for me? What a weird plant. There's one over here too. Come on, I think I found the way back to base. Oh look at little I had buddy the scout hopping around. Memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right oh, to- Oh, is that how they're gonna get away with- <laughs> with having something lead me on where I need to go? Makes sense. We can push our way through these vines. Oh, look at me just tearing through these vines. Like an absolute king. What is that? Oh, there's a second one, dude. There's three of them. 
get them. Oh, there's a whole lot of them, aren't there? Okay, easy there. Don't pick a fight if you don't have a weapon. We need to hide. Come on, this way. Hurry! Stay low in the brush to remain hidden. Quietly. I... Oh, gosh. I can hide? That is not the mechanic I wanted to know. Okay, the coast is clear. Let's get going while we still can. Hmm. <clears throat> so, if I don't have a weapon, what's the big Nothing knife on my back? Us. spin the camera. I'm stupid. <laughs> Just don't don't talk about it. What is this track? Old footprints. What? There's what did more I just over there. Say? Let's check it out. Over where? game for answering my question. Oh, should I read that? After their long sea voyage came to a harrowing end, Hunter and Handler braved the dense forest to come at long last to the Research Commission headquarters. Estera. What is all the extra noise? Is that just me moving around? Wow. Has to be. Amazing, ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. A stara. I like it. <laughs> the rest of the fifth are all How'd you guys here. build this so quickly? Quicky? Quickly. It'll last to arrive. You guys made it! Be right back. You're alive. 
Had it rough, huh? When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. <sighs> you scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. <sighs> hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Hey, Come on. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs> This here is our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Huh. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible. Right? <laughs> We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring. Scholars to do the research. Here. Technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a second. Commander, I found him. Welcome to Astera. Am I supposed to click things? Oh. No longer a cutscene, now I have to press buttons. What? Oh. <laughs> I, I read it wrong, so I was confused. Oh, is he no longer reading things? I'm so sorry. I, I'm so dumb, I should have been reading this the whole time. Your reputations precede. Yeah, I'll do that after this conversation, now that I know. Oh my god, I just feel dumb about that. <gasps> Paddle? Well, off you go. Okay. Where? I'll Where's my boy? Tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. I was trying to see if I could do a casual walk rather than a run, and I can. Next is the smithy. It's this way. So too, please give me my palico. The commission's fifth fleet, right? The old man in charge, my grandfather, was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me, I'm not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. Never even old been to the world. world. I was suddenly unable to like this is where you run. Craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. Wow! Look at this place. Wanna check it out? Ooh, it's toasty in here. I would have never guessed that the smithy. The canteen? I am so there. Hmm. Over here. See, I can run out like the very beginning of the steps, but that's as far as they let me run on steps. This here is our canteen. Hmm. Hey, over there! <gasps> Paddle, turn around. Look at me. Hey, you! <laughs> I knew you pulled through.
right. We're calling oh, for a is there is that their porn? Yeah. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. Oh my God, dude, that is a big cat. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea. Uh, I don't know if he's reading them all yet. I'm sorry. The fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group. Worthy comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts finally rewarded. So, there was a research commission. Would you like to say a few that's words? That's been here the whole time. Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. That's interesting. This here is the commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. So this is the Looking core team. Who is that guy? Now, down to business. The latest Did you monster see him? to make the, the short elder man? crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. A huge monster with a mountain of fire. Oh yeah, that's the guy that appended our ship. Commission's job Sorry, to I'm processing exactly slowly. It's quite the early. Elder dragons are migrating to the new world. Elder dragons have been with us. Oh, so he's an elder dragon. And the elder dragons are moving from the old world to the new world. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Once every decade or so, they fly to this continent. But for what reason? With the fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Missing link. Now we're talking! Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Okay. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes them tick, and we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking. You got it. You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You Sorry, heard him. I didn't click with me, and you'll have no problems. The fifth banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. Is that giant acorn thing my? All right. <laughs> My this palico next. sword, because I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. We're, we're doing that thing again where he doesn't read. Um, well, let's go look into this Jagger's problem, but you'll need a weapon first. Over here. There's a box full of equipment you can use in your quarters. Come on. I'll show you the way. Did you really need to show me the way for right here? Head inside your room so you can grab yourself. Oh, this is a big room. There's multiple people in this room, that's why. Play some basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. Okay. Different weapons offer different combat experiences. Great swords hit with devastating force, while the sword and shield allow for quick, mobile flurries. The heavy bow gun, while unwieldy, fires powerful blasts, and so on. Choose any one weapon and take to the field. You can visit the training area after equipping a weapon by speaking to the housekeeper in your room. There, you can practice with your chosen weapon as much as you'd like. Okay. <laughs> it feels wrong to choose a gun-esque weapon, but I kind of like it. Armor sets are comprised of five pieces. Each piece offers some amount of defense plus equipment skills to aid you in your hunts. 
You can mix and match pieces however you like to suit your playstyle. Use uh, left trigger, right trigger to view your gear stats and skills. You can save equipment loadouts to quickly switch to your favorite gear combinations. Also a Capcom game, isn't it? Proto Commission Axe. Oh, well, okay. I kind of like the these weapons, but they don't do as much damage as if I run up and st stabby stab. So the, the gun lance a defense can oriented also... weapon with a variety of shell attacks. Well, that's that's kind of wild. I won't lie. Uh, but it doesn't do too much. The iron hammer does the most, and we all know that I love doing me some damage. Understand slightly. It'll be a little bit of a curve, but we're gonna get through this whole thing before you guys even see me fight a monster. Wanna get going? Once you're ready, head to the canteen. I'm thinking this was I'll just be a there big waiting pile for the quest. Food. You can get more familiar with your weapons, the training area. Just talk to the housekeeper to get started. I know this looks like some old closet that we turned into a makeshift room for you Mew Hunters, but that's not the case, I promise. It's fully furnished with everything Meowster needs. You have your very own equipment box where you can manage and change your gear. I just hope you don't mind changing in front of others, because you have roommates. Didn't they tell you about that? No? Uh, okay. Moving on. Your room also comes with an area to manage your Palico's gear. Right next to your bed, even. Convenient, right? Oh, one more thing. If you need access to the training area, just come talk to me. I'm here to lend a paw 24-7. I aim to purr these. Now, what does Meowster need? Why am I able to change the handler's outfit? That makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> your weapons move set. Okay. Uh, oh. Combo damage display objects for practicing with the clutch claw. so much info that I just read. Okay, let's run through the hunting basics. First, ready your weapon. The 
hammer is a mighty close-range weapon that can stun monsters with blows to the head. So that's a standard combo. Oops. Ah, okay. I think I'm kind of understanding. So that's the overhead smash. That is that. And that's the charged attack. How long can I charge it for? Okay, and it makes a charged big bang. Good to know, good to know. Okay, so that's how I evade. If I click and stick, I sheath my weapon, and when it's sheathed, that's when I can do this. You need to load the slinger with some ammo. See anything useful lying around? You can use that as slinger okay. ammo. Great for getting a monster's attention or creating a distraction. That's a thorn pot, a powerful type of slinger ammo. Attacking the part it's latched onto deals blunt damage. How do I sheath again? Okay. That allows me to... Okay, I'm out of the thorn pods. Good to know, good to know. What did I just do? I used a potion. Oh, I can use this one to hit bombs. If you're clever, you can use the slinger to distract monsters. What is Haddle doing? Oh, resetting. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So this one goes pretty far. That's good to know. And then I could just use the item box if I wanted to try out a different weapon, which I don't. I should, but I won't. I think I'm... I think I'm good. Alright, talk to the handler at the canteen. I don't like that you can hear every noise I make in the mic right now. And it's because I'm so far from it. And it's also because it's early. So I keep I keep doing things because it's early. Like moving around. Now that you have access to the armory and provision stockpile, grab what you need. Once you're done, go meet up with your handler in the canteen to sign up for a quest. Handlers sort through the research commission's leads. I kind of thought he was going to say more, but I guess not. Worth our attention become quests. Hey! Over here. 
Oh, this way. I was incorrect. Oh, this way. Haha. <laughs> Now I can run up steps. Oh, this is an unruly long set of steps. Okay, so assignments advance the story. Zora Mag Magdaro's appearance has brought about changes in the local ecosystem. Head into Jagra's territory to investigate and take them out if necessary. There will be conditions, non failure conditions, time expires, fate three times. So I won't take this quest right now, because instead I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I know, right? I'm going to end the video before we even go and on our first quest. That's because creating the character in the Palico took longer than I thought it would. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this new series here on the channel. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Tell me what are the games you're hoping to see here on the channel. And if you feel so inclined, follow me over on social media at the links down in the description. I've been The Soloist, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to check out something else that's on the screen right now, and I'll see all of you tomorrow.